simple tire machine. Um, a machine like this I bought from Montreal, uh, about fourteen hundred bucks. Doesn't get much cheaper than that. Um, so if you want something for uh, do-it-yourself at home or just a little side business, uh, here's a good option, something to start with. Um, anyways, we'll get at her. Um, so first thing I would like to do is uh, take the wheel weights off. Very important. Um, at least on the top part anyways. So you just take this tool here and you can use that to remove your, uh, your weights. And while I'm at it, I'll get the one on the back side as well. So there actually is none, so that's alright. Um, if you're doing somebody else's tires, a customer or a friend, uh, if you notice anything uh, about the wheel that's damaged or scratched up, it's always a good idea to tell them beforehand so uh, nobody assumes that you've done it because, uh, you know, people like to point fingers pretty quickly. So, anyway, this is a tire off my dad's uh, one of his work vans. Uh, it was in the back. It got smashed up a little bit, so, but it's my dad, so he's not worried about it. But if it was somebody I wasn't too sure or a friend, I would just let them know that it's a little bit damaged before it started off. So what you want to do is take the uh, valve cover off and there's an insert that you must take off. You can buy this tool here, uh, there's different, comes in different shapes and forms. Um, so basically you just use this guy here and you put it in inside the valve stem and you turn it counterclockwise and then it'll come out. Uh, I have no air currently in the tire, it's flat so you're not hearing nothing but here it is, that's all that's going to come out. Uh, so put that aside because you will need it again. And when there's no air in the tire, you're good to go. Uh, here's a, called the bead breaker. So you just put it against here and you just break the bead uh, like so. The bead broken all the way around. And then once you see the bead is fully broken all the way around. You just turn the wheel around and you do the same on the opposite side on the back end. If this was a nice rim, it's well, worth it, I think. I would be a little more proud of with it. But this is from an old beater van. It's not the end of the world. So you put it on here. If you are doing a nice set of aluminum rims and you want to be careful, uh, you have the option of picking up this little adapter that comes up on the head here and you can insert it so it will not scratch around the rim. Uh, it's an option you can only use. So basically you just want to put this guy down and just enough that comes up a couple millimeters so you're not going to scratch the rim. And you just set it that way. You want to be as close to the rim as possible without actually touching the rim. Uh, the closer it is, the easier it will be to take off. So you take your bar and you just tuck it underneath the lip. What you need to do is bring the lip over the mouthpiece and you just start turning. If, you're, if you can keep the, um, keep the steady, fine. Or you're going to pull it right out. And then you do the same with the bottom. You lift this guy, you put the bar, and it's tucked below the lip. So right underneath I can feel my bar and you lift the tire up as much as you can and then you just put over the head as well and off it goes. Mind you some tires are more difficult than others of course um, if you got low profile tires that is uh, something to look into as well because it's a little more difficult. Um, I'm sorry I'm just going to get myself the new tire here. Um, something very important to look at is the tire, if it's a directional tire or not. Every tire will tell you if there is no directional tire, then you may not see anything on it. But as I can tell on this tire here, it's telling me it goes this way, just from the grooves on the tire. So I just need to make sure which way they're all supposed to be heading because I've already done oh, uh, my last three tires. So, um, yeah. okay. So, um, you can use 
different style things. I use this stuff, and it works great. It's like a soap, soapy water, pretty much. Just enough to get the bead to break on, or to go into the rim. A couple of sprays. So you want to tilt it on an angle so you can put your arm back on, like so. And then just drop it. It's not a hard uh, process to do once you've done a couple. Like I said, unless you do a low profile tire, then it can be difficult. Um, there is an adapter plate that you can buy to make your life a lot easier. Um, honestly, I regret not picking it up. I may go back to Montreal and get it. And the trick is to make sure that a rim has an in insert, like a middle. You want to make sure it's in there. If you have it, it'll make it much easier for the rim to pop on. See, like so. And you just set the wheel where it's supposed to be. Uh, this current tire machine did come with a bead blaster. It's an option you could buy. Uh, because of the size of this wheel, we do not need the bead blaster. So yes, they will pop on. That's perfectly normal. That's just the uh, proper seal on the bead. Now you just put in your uh, lifter back in. You should wear safety glasses because if there's uh, pressure from inside the tire, it could perhaps blow in your eye. And through that, and then just put your air in. Uh, lethal specs, which is one I believe is 32 pounds. Um, if you have any questions, like, comment, and I may make another video on how to use the tire balance. Alright, thanks a lot.